and welcome to another reading vlog. Uh, I'm currently reading The Bell Tolls for No One by Charles Bukowski. As usual, this is just my intro clip right after the last one. Uh, just to recap you, let you know where we are. It's a Sunday, I'm off to uh, volunteer at the Arts Centre later. I'm gonna crack on with this book as well. And I'm also currently listening to my audiobook of Le Chant de Bascovie by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. See? It's bloody difficult. Cet astéroïde était tombé seulement quelques heures plus tard. Il ne serait pas tombé en Sibérie, mais en Europe. I did not know Neil deGrasse Tyson could speak French. Into the dark, the little boy came, hopeful and frightened, whispering over and over. All right, we're on to English audiobooks. I've started my reread of The Amber Spyglass. I was meant to do this for last year's rereadathon. So that's how we're going with that. Um, what have I got on my reads pile? I've got loads on. So by the end of January, I'm supposed to have finished Deliberate Prose by Allen Ginsberg, The Lies of Locke Lamora by Scott Lynch, and Hitler and the Beer Hall Putsch by David somebody. And that's also including the fact that I DNF'd one of the books. That was for the Get Shit Done readathon. Uh, and then in February, I want to read the Amber Sp well, by mid February, according to my goals, I want to read The Amber Spyglass by Philip Pullman, Ham on Rye by Charles Bukowski, The Stand by Stephen King, and The Tommy Knockers by Stephen King. Uh, and that brings me up to date with the end of last year's rereadathon. And then in February, I also want to reread Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight books by the end of February, and it's going to be difficult. But we're going to try! Um, in terms of what I've been reading, I've finished, wherever, the, oh here it is, it's over here. I finished reading The Bell Tolls for No One by Charles Bukowski, it was alright, I mean it's Bukowski and you pretty much know what you're getting with him, just you know, stories about drunkenness and debauchery really. Uh, I gave it 3.5 out of 5, it's not the best of Bukowski's collections to start with, but you know, if you're interested in his work I guess you've got to start somewhere. So yeah, there's that. Uh, and that has brought me on to World War Z, or World War Z as I would say because I'm British, An Oral History of the Zombie War by Max Brooks. And this is one that I've had on my TBR for ages and there's something about the print and the formatting of it, I've just not been super keen to get to it. But yeah, I've just picked it up and it's alright so far, I think I will be able to get through it. I have also though decided just to DNF The Island of Sheep by John Buchan um, and basically I got this but, uh, I guess because it was on offer in, in the works, judging by the sticker. And um, I didn't realise it's book five in a series. So, and also I started reading it and, uh, you know. Hey Biggie. Oh, and I'm making a pie. I should also in, um, uh, let, I should also update you on lifey stuff. So yesterday I helped out at the Arts Centre. I've already, I think it was called The Rock Project actually, the event. And basically it's where this company that does um, guitar lessons and instrument lessons all of the people who are having the lessons like kind of all come along and jam. Biggie, you're getting right in the way. They all come along and sort of jam together. So although th they weren't necessarily great, you know, uh, they did choose some pretty cool songs and I did certainly enjoy myself. So um, yeah, I'm glad I went along with that and obviously I was helping behind the bar as well. Um, Noemi was there too, which was good. All in all, just pretty good. I've got a flower on my hand for my pie. So yeah, I'm just cracking on with work this evening and being productive and uh, you can see here, this is the big stack of books for me to take photographs of, to list on eBay. But I have got through most of, I'm up to M, I think, by author surname. So I've, I've done quite a lot when it comes to like working through all my books. Yo, my pie is done fam, with my mashed potato and my gravy, and it's got leffa in it. Yes! And I'm watching, what's it called, the, the universe, the universe. The, the universe. Second, whatever serves the child or the witch. It's just Yorick Bernison. I'm listening to The Amber Spyglass by Philip Pullman. It's pretty good because he himself is um, narrating it. Biggie's over there. He smells. I might have to give him a bath. I'm not sure whether, well, I'm not sure whether Biggie smells or whether my flat just smells because for some reason he decided he was going to take a shit on the floor. Very kind of him. So yeah, I've been mostly cleaning and stuff today, the usual. Here is a big stack of books, all of which it's all going on eBay, so I'm slowly sorting through. I've got up to uh, Pratchett now by author surname, so I'm slowly sorting through, I think the last bookcase and a half or so. I know this is loads of stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna slowly chip away at this pile, I guess. So, in terms of where I'm at with my reading, um, 
I finished reading the Bukowski book, so that was pretty good. And now I am reading World War Z, An Oral History of the Zombie War by Max Brooks. I'm on page 106. It's kind of quirky. The way it's written is like we learn about what's going on through all these transcripts of conversations and things like that, which is quite unusual. But yes, uh, it's alright so far. I'm actually enjoying it quite a bit more than I thought I would, so that is good. Because I'm still working on slowly getting through all of my TBR, basically. I'm down to 99 books on my own TBR. I'd like to get down to about 10, I think. Between 10 and 20 at any given time. Biggie, what are you doing? Are you cleaning the poop off yourself? You should be cleaning the poop off yourself. So that's where I'm at. Um, yeah. I don't think I have anything else to update you on. There's an open mic night tonight in town, but I am not going to go to it. Not for any particular reason, I just... Well, I did two last week, and there's going to be one on Sunday uh, at the Rose and Crown, which I'm probably going to go to with Naomi, so um, I'm alright to wait until then, you know? I've also started quitting smoking again, so I'm currently on 17 hours, 33 minutes and 22 seconds. I don't know if you can see it. It's all in French, look. So, uh... Vos amélioration sur le plan de la santé. So I'm on a 73% tour de monoxide de carbon. Uh, and yeah, 36% of my way towards no nicotine in my system. So that's good. And I have regained 4.4 hours. So I'm doing, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Another 26 minutes or so. And I have done three quarters of a day. And you can only take it one day at a time, can't you? So yeah, as long as I don't smoke this evening, should be good. See how it goes. I mean, any time I spend not smoking is probably good. Because I don't want to die. Not yet, anyway. I've got some stuff I want to do first. I know what you mean. Be quiet. And then she used a word that sounded like that word for light. I don't know why this is happening. For some reason. I guess maybe the audiobook is corrupted. Who knows? Um, I've just topped in the shower, so I'm now feeling very fresh and stuff. Uh, in terms of reading, I'm still reading uh, World War Z, World War Z, however you want to call it. I'm on page 200. There, I'm on page 212 of about 230. So I'll probably finish it tomorrow-ish. Um, I've been reviewing bits of it as I've been going along. It's all right. Um, I don't know. I've kind of. I'm a bit bored of the history um, approach in terms of its, you know being a transcript and things like that as opposed to any actual action and sometimes he, I don't think dialogue is necessarily uh, Brooks's strong point as well so his world building is pretty good but that's pretty much what it is it, it's all world building and no action if that makes sense but it's all right so far it's probably gonna be a 3.5 to be honest um, I still have not smoked oh good in two hours and six days my energy will be back to normal which is good because I'm fucking exhausted <laughs> Oh man, and it's only, it's five to six. I have, I've been eating these, some dates. I've had most of the dates now, so that's good. Um, I actually need to eat them a bit more slowly because otherwise I'm gonna, I don't know, have digestion problems and shit. So yeah, uh, I'm listening to more of the Amber Spyglass this evening. Uh, I think Naomi's currently see, seeing our friend Fran for a cup of tea. Uh, just the art centre around the corner, so I may or may not see her this evening. I don't know. We'll find out. Um, probably going to make some food in a minute. I've got some more noodles. So I'm going to raid my fridge and see what can go with the noodles, I guess. Just like some sort of noodly salad, I think. I've got some um, spring onions and shit and some peanuts, some out-of-date peanuts. Yay. So, is there anything else to update? Oh, I have to write uh, a review of Once Upon a Time in the North by Philip Pullman, which I have already read. Sometimes um, I miss books out, I guess. So um, I had a look on my book blog and I can't find the review for it. So I need to write the review for it to add it to Goodreads so that it registers as read. Because this is also going to be in my keep pile. Um, this is the ridiculous pile of books to list for sale. But we're getting towards the end now. I think I have one full bookcase left to organise through. And obviously all the photos to take and stuff. And this evening I'm going to do a bit more filming. So I'm going to film some more of this, this review of World War Z. We've got my review of um, the Amber Spyglass as well because of the audiobook. So that's, that's what's happening. That's what's hippity hopping. Yeah, French space again. Some million, that's a lot. That's almost as much as Mia. 
Well, I suppose it's 10% of Unmelia, isn't it? Haven't I already done vlog? I think I've already done some vlog today. Um, yeah. Still reading World War Z. Um, the, the stack is getting bigger to my side. Uh, that is why I was going to say, um, yeah. So, yeah, just chilling at home this evening by the sounds of it. So I think I'm going to make something to eat in a minute. Um, what was I going to make? I guess if I go to Tesco, I could get some stuff. I could go to Sano's. I could go to Sainsbury's. I do need to get some toothpaste. I don't know. Maybe I'll go for a little walk in a bit. We'll see. This girl was saying something in that lost little whisper. Yo, I'm listening to some more of my Philip Pullman audiobook of um, uh, The Golden Compass. So I'm on part 12 of 20. Basically, I still have this big pile of books here to sort through. And I photograph books to go up on my eBay store, link to below. Um, I photograph those while I'm editing and I've run out of things to edit. So I'm filming this little extra bit here because I want to try and film all of these and put as many of them as away, away as possible before my girlfriend comes over. So she's going to come over tomorrow night. So I'm going to have a little bit of a hoover. We might go out for dinner. Still haven't smoked. So I am currently on <laughs> one day, 21 hours and 52 minutes. Which isn't bad, so the plan is, obviously, if I can make it through the rest of this evening, then I go to sleep. When I wake up, I'll be on, like, two hours, ten minutes or something. Because um, my reset point was, like, just after midnight. So that's pretty good. It says I've already regained 11 and a half hours of life. And I've spent 3.2 hours not smoking. Okay, still reading World War Z. Still doing this. Oh yes, that is it. The reason I'm filming this is because I do have a quick update for you. So I have a few interesting little emails. These three are all happening kind of simultaneously. So the first thing is that the Ilk, uh, the band I'm in, uh, we have a YouTube as well, a link to below. We have an EP um, that should be coming out soon. Uh, it's going to be out just on CD to begin with and then hopefully online as well. Um, and yeah, it's all been mastered and stuff, so we just need to send the final files off to get the CDs made. And the CD people basically sent me the wrong template, so I designed it with the wrong template. So now I need to spend some time updating that, because basically, the way it's all folded and stuff, you've got like one, two, three, four, or whatever. And then I've designed it with that one, and then suddenly it's gone one, two, three, four, which is a different way. And so I have to move everything around, and oh, it's going to be a pain. But yeah, once we've done that, we should get the CDs. So I reckon we'll probably have the CDs towards the end of the month. Uh, I'm also being offered, uh, because I go on Wickham Sound, our local community-run radio station, and I've been doing some radio presenter training there, and I've been offered a slot. Uh, it says, I have a slot coming available in March and would like to offer you the programme we had some time ago. So yeah, a 12-week run in March. Potentially, I'll have a radio show. I believe it's going to be an hour-long show. And um, yeah, it's going to be about art and hopefully interview some of the people from the local art scene. And uh, yes, that's very cool. So, and that'll also be available to listen online. So I'll be able to link to that and do some vlogs and stuff. Uh, and then I have heard back from Encircle Publications, who are my publisher. And they're going to be publishing Netflix and Kill, which is the sequel to Driven. I've been having a lot of questions about this. When's it coming out, etc., etc. We now have an official date. Uh, so the publication date is going to be uh, 4 10 20. These guys are American, so I'm pretty sure that means... Yeah, it means the 10th of April, right? 10th of April 2020. So we just, we've just uh, we all the editing's done, so we just need to sort of cover design. Speaking of my books, actually, I've just had the third round of edits of Jailed back from my editor, Pamelise Harris. Um, so she's based in New York City. And uh, yeah, this is the third and final round of that one. That's book three that will come after Netflix and Kill. So uh, hopefully I can get the edits and everything processed in time for once Netflix and Kill comes out, I can send over uh, Jailed and Other Stories, which is the third book in that series. And then I guess I need to get writing book number four. It is planned out. It is already planned out. I've just been working on some other stuff. Um, so yeah, I've been working on my edits and rewrites of Meat, which is set on the factory farm. So that's had my first round of edits back from Pam and I'm just doing some rewrites and adding some new bits to that. And then I guess after that, 
I mean, I've got my memoirs I've been working on, probably won't even release those. And then there's like a third of a novel that I haven't done any work on for months. I haven't really been writing, so it's been nice. Over the last few days, I've been getting back to doing some writing. So that's where we're at. Product update, project update, there we go. Let's start with verbal I'm, I'm learning and about logic. French gestures from French there Pod 101, but I don't know how much there. I trust them. <laughs> Let's start with... Bonjour! Bonjour! He took a step forward and turned to look back at Lyra. Did it, did it. Roger's just leaving the world of the dead. What's happened to my hair there? Go on, flop down. And then he was gone, leaving behind such a very um, little burst of happiness. Yeah, I'm just listening to the Amber Spyglass. I'm on part 15 of 20. So that's pretty good. Made a good old dent there. Uh, I've effectively finished World War Z or World War Z, whatever you want to call it as well. I'm on page 320 of 340. So that is good. Um, my, I'm seeing my girlfriend in a bit. We're going to go out for dinner, hence me wearing a shirt and some fairly nice trousers, you know. Made a slight effort. Um, I've been eating these chili and lime nutty protein power graze things as well. Had a bit of a tidy in here, so that's all good. Um, yes, I've got my vape now as well. Two days, 18 hours without smoking, and now I have my little vaporoo, this thing. Uh, I'm a vape wanker. And to be even more of a wanker, it's also CBD in there as well. So I've got CBD, um, I've got this, this stuff here, so, so what is it, 50 milligram CBD menthol as well. Um, and there is no nicotine in it. Or at least there better not be. I'm pretty sure there's no nicotine in it. Because that's kind of the point. To go cold turkey on the nicotine. So yeah. Uh, I'm just getting towards... So as I say, I'm just getting towards the end of World War Z. World War Z. And then after that, I'm probably going to give this a go. Which is The Adventures of Tom Sawyer by Mark Twain. Uh, Puffin Classics. Never read it before. So I feel like I probably should. And the, the print doesn't look too bad, you know. So this looks achievable. All right, and I'm still reading Ginsburg's essays, and um, oh yeah, I read. Let me try and read you this bit of dialogue out. Um, so I've been reading Le Marchand de Venice uh, to improve my French. So I've been reading it in French and English at the same time. And then there's this big bit that I all understood here. So Gobbo says, "Je vous en prie, monsieur, levez-vous. Je suis certain que vous n'êtes pas mon garçon, Lancelot." So he says, um, "I pray of you, sir." Uh, rise. I am certain that you are not my boy, Lancelot. Then Lancelot says, Je vous en prie, arrêtez ce petit jeu et donnez-moi votre bénédiction. Je suis Lancelot, celui qui a été et sera toujours ton fils. So Lancelot there, he's saying, um, I beg of you, stop this little game and give me your blessing. I am Lancelot. Um, he who has been is and always will be your son. And then Gobbo says, Je ne peux pas croire que vous êtes mon fils, which means um, I cannot believe that you are my son. And then Lancelot says, Je ne sais pas quoi. And then Lancelot says, Je ne sais pas quoi penser de ça, mais je suis Lancelot, je, le serviteur de Juif. Et je suis certain que Margot, votre femme, est ma mère. So he's saying, I am not sure why you think that. But I am Lancelot, the servant of the Jew, and I am certain that Margot, your wife, is my mother. And um, yeah, it was just cool to read that because when I was reading it last night in bed, I just had like full comprehension, you know? So um, it's good. If I, I felt kind of close to fluent there. Certainly more fluent than I have felt. I don't know what I've done with the lid for this. There really is supposed to be a lid for this thing. Here it is. I found it. The lid, the... I found it. The lid goes up here to, um, you know, stop horribleness getting in, in your crack pipe, I guess. Mmm, I wonder what I'm gonna eat. Oh, and I got this from Lush as well. Uh, an each peach massage bar. Smells delicious. You didn't hear? I heard a little. I couldn't sleep. Oh, we're at. I'm at, I'm at pay. Look at that. 
I'm at part 15 of 20 of um, the Amber Spyglass, and it's getting pretty emotional. We're getting towards this big battle at the end now. L Lord Asriel's just been saying that uh, the entire Republic of Heaven might have come into existence solely to help Lyra and Will to find their demons again after the world of the dead. This will mean nothing to you unless you've read the book. Um, but yeah, and it's all building up towards the big ending, and it's the only time a book has ever made me cry. And I might cry again. I don't know. We'll see. So that's where I'm at with my audiobook. We're going to call World War Z done now. I still actually have about 14 pages left to go. It's kind of dragging a little bit for this last tiny, tiny bit. But yes, uh, almost finished that. So I'll finish that this morning. And then I'm going to give The Adventures of Tom Sawyer by Mark Twain a bit of a bash. So it is Friday the 17th of January, time flies, it's mad. Um, went out for dinner yesterday, it was alright. Biggie, you, you okay? Um, we played pool, so the pool was really good. The food wasn't so good, but it's like a pub anyway, and they do vegan food. Ah, oh, coffee, life juice. They do vegan food. Um, so I had like this this special pizza that they had. And it was okay, but basically over the top of it, they just put loads of barbecue sauce. And so it just tasted like of, sh of sugar. I couldn't, I actually couldn't finish it. I had a little tiny bit of it and I was like, this pizza's too sweet. I can't have any more. It, like it was making me feel sick from being too sweet. Um, and it's supposed, it's supposed to be a savory pizza as well. Um, but Noemi had had uh, the Beyond Mountain burger thingy. So we ended up swapping. Um, and yeah, neither neither of us was particularly impressed. And then um, the the people there were some people on a table near us, and apparently I think they had some tacos, and apparently there was mold on one of their tacos, so that's not good. Um, we didn't smoke. So I've still got my vape going. Um, yeah, I'm currently on three and a bit days of not smoking uh, and no nicotine. Which is really for me is the hard bit. If I could get unaddicted to nicotine, then you know, then I don't have the physical, I don't have the physical, tangible, you know, withdrawal symptoms or whatever. Um, so we'll see. But yeah, that was interesting too because Naomi was saying I think it's the first time for about f oh shit, she said it's like the second or third time in about 15 years that she's gone out and had a drink and not smoked. Um, she purposefully left her cigarettes at home, and then she had a little she had a little toke on the vape, as it were, and we were fine. But she was saying that she, you know, hopefully her lungs feel better today, um, and I do. I feel like I do feel healthier when I don't smoke, and my anxiety is a lot better. I stick to it, I guess, for as much as I can. And for stuff like last night, when it's just the two of us out, it's kind of easy to not smoke, or it's easier to not smoke. It gets a lot harder when it's things like the open mic nights. I think the next big thing will be on Sunday, where there'll be the jam at um, the Rose and Crown. So, yeah, we'll see how we go. So I think that's it, actually. I don't know what, I don't know what I've got planned for this evening. Uh, or this weekend for that matter. I have lots of more books to take photos of for eBay So I'm gonna do that and Just read just read yeah, and as you can tell because it's 8 15 a.m I haven't got into my work day routine at about 9 I get into my work day routine and that's tends to be when I watch YouTube so I'll probably stop my audiobook at that point and Yeah, I mean I'm in no rush to finish it anyway I wonder what I've got next, actually, because I have a bunch of pretty sweet audiobooks lined up. So I'm catching up with last year's reread a thumb. So after this, okay, after this, I'm probably going to listen to Ham on Rye by Charles Bukowski. Uh, which, oh, an unabridged one. Oh, bloody hell, it's 11 hours, 45 minutes. Mind you, this one, His Dark Materials, The Amber Spyglass. 14 hours 48 minutes I don't know ham on rye though. It could be a bit hit and miss it depends who's like narrating it I hope they've got someone like Mickey Rourke or something. That'd be good Yo working day over didn't nap. So that's always good. I have had like eight cups of coffee though um, <clears throat> Yeah, I've been just been listening to some more of the amber spyglass So I'm now on part 18 of 20 of my audiobook like a couple hours ago And I've been reading the adventures of Tom Sawyer and it's really irritating me because uh because this happens. So, yeah. 
Luckily, I'm probably not going to keep this book after I've read it anyway, so once I've done my review and reviewed those pages that have the sticky tabs on it, I guess I'll just bin them. So yeah, that's where I'm at. It's Friday evening now and uh, just making plans with my girlfriend just to decide what we do. Might be heading over there in a minute. Well, she's been napping most of the evening, so she's literally just woken up. Whereas I refused to nap because I didn't want to throw my sleep off, you know? So, um... Yeah, I'll see what she's what she's up to, I guess. Du Centaur ne se trouverait pas à 3 ou à 30 mètres de là, mais à Washington DC. Hi, it is Saturday the 19th, I want to say, of January. My mental health hasn't been great today, to be honest. Um, but it was starting to play up a little bit yesterday. And then, yeah, I went out last night, had a few drinks, enjoyed some live music, stayed over at Noemi's, which was lovely. And then just this morning, I just haven't been in a good mood since I woke up, really. Um, we went for a walk, though, which was nice. We walked for like an hour and a half together, and she's been really supportive. I, I mean, I can't fault her at all for how helpful she's been, just like, just being there for me, you know? Um, but yeah, I came back home because I didn't want to, you know, Sometimes you just need to be alone as well, but I didn't want to stress her out or anything as well But I'm trying to look after myself. I still haven't smoked. So that's good Considering especially considering I was super down earlier. I'm kind of surprised. I didn't smoke four days 17 hours and three minutes um, There is an open mic night tomorrow that I might go to so there's kind of a risk I might smoke at that but I basically feel as though if I didn't smoke today today is when I would have been most likely to do it, you know? I haven't got much reading done since I last updated you guys. Um, I've made a bit of a dent in The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. As you can see, my book is falling apart. A uh, review of this coming soon. And I've actually, I've just li listened to part 19 of 20 of The Amber Spyglass by Philip Pullman. So, yeah, that was nice. I'll finish that off tonight and then I've been doing my review of that. So there's that to look forward to. It's not really the best thing for me to be listening to at the moment because that's the only book that's ever made me cry. And, uh, yeah, I'm feeling kind of down. So I don't know why I'm finishing it now. But uh, I, will, I will do my best. I will do my best. I think that's all I, that's all I got for you guys. So I might give you an update tomorrow. Ah, uh, that Leonard, the only time he was... Okay, so I've started my unabridged audiobook of Ham on Rye by Charles Bukowski. Wow, it's actually shorter than I thought it was. The, for some reason, the file thing says it's like ten and a half hours, but no, it's seven hours, forty minutes. Um, it's kind of annoying me so far. I don't really like the narrator very much, and he keeps doing these, like, dodgy German accents, which just don't work. It's 11.45 a.m. on Sunday morning. I slept awfully last night. I had a lot of dreams. I dreamt that my mum disowned me. And actually, I feel like it was kind of a racist dream because she disowned me because she'd decided to live with this Muslim guy. And for some reason, he'd told her that she needed to disown me, so she did. Which kind of reminds me of not this Christmas just gone, but the Christmas before. She was seeing some dude who apparently was quite manipulative as well. But um, yeah, she, on Christmas Day, she wouldn't let me stay over and didn't see me. She went to see him instead, so I spent Christmas alone that year. Anyway, I'm on five days, 11 hours, 30 minutes without smoking. Um, my next health thing is mauvais souffle. Is that bad breath? Yeah. So my next thing, I'm on 78% healed with my bad breath and then 39% healed with like dental teeth staining and stuff. So that's good. Uh, still reading The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. I finished my audiobook of uh, The Amber Spyglass. Might be seeing Raimi later. We'll see. I hope I am because I love that woman. But yeah. Um, if not, there is an acoustic jam at the Rose and Crown, which is the pub near me, at about half six this evening. So I might go to that. I'm not really feeling it. I'm still feeling a little bit down, to be honest. And that dream didn't help much. Um, so if I do go, I might not even play. But that's famous last words, because I always say that. I'm always like, I might not even play. And then I end up playing. So I might not play by not going. That might be a way to do it. Or I might go and just sit in the back. I don't know. I'll, I'll see what Noemi wants to do. She volunteered helping out with the homeless today. It went a bit better than last time, because last time apparently there were not many people were there and they just wasted a lot of food and stuff. So hopefully I'll get to talk to her about that. Um, I don't know, even if I don't see her, I might see if she'll ring me and so we can chat on the phone, even though I hate talking on the phone. 
Uh, but yeah, maybe she'll come to the open mic as well. Who knows? We were talking about it. We will see. So that's where I'm at. Mm, yeah, this is what I got for you. I'm sorry that my moods haven't been great. I'm, I'm trying. I'm genuinely trying. The, I, I, I mean, I would actually say I'm in an okay mood today. I'm just really unsettled because of these dreams and just because of what's been going through my head and... You know, I'm trying to be kinder to myself, so that's what I'm going to try and do. And filming and posting YouTube videos is not a good way to be kind to yourself because people aren't kind to you on the internet, you know, people are horrible. But hey-ho, there's occasionally nice people, so if you're watching my channel and you're one of the nice people, thank you. <laughs> you're one of the blessed, blessed few. Oh, and I watched The Killer Inside, uh, the, or something like that, uh, Inside the Mind of Aaron Hernandez. Uh, it was apparently an American NFL player who murdered some people. I don't know, I'd not heard of him. He just, he's a murderer, basically, is what he is. He's a celebrity murderer, right, I suppose, if you want to go that far. But I would just say he's just a murderer, you know? But, um, yeah, at least it was in French, so I learned some more French, hopefully. Although I've been getting very down about myself with my French. I mean, oh, just everything's fucking going wrong at the moment. So Netflix and Kill, my next book, the one after Driven in the series. We have this release date for it now. But I'm not allowed to call it Netflix and Kill. Apparently, you're literally not allowed to mention Netflix in a book. So you couldn't write a book on the history of streaming wars and mention Netflix. In fact, fucking Daniel Green, who's done his streaming wars videos, I think it would be covered by that as well. So you're not actually allowed to mention Netflix unless you have express permission from them. Which I think is really fucked up. That's against freedom of speech, surely. I mean, for me, for my book, I was using it as fair usage because it's not about Netflix. I don't think the company itself is ever mentioned. The phrase Netflix and chill is mentioned. And then because of that, Netflix and kill is the title, you know? So... Yeah, I think now it's going to be called The Tower Hill Terror, which is a name I think is terrible. And personally, I wouldn't read the book if it was called The Tower Hill Terror. But hey-ho, I'm working with publishers, and so you have to cave to their whims and do what they want you to do, don't you? Know, don't you? So, yeah. But it's just, that's another bummer. It's like just the last thing I want on my plate right now. Just everything. Just everything fucking... Nobody's happy with every anything. Every piece of work I'm doing, people are coming back with a million rewrites, and I'm just like, done. Man, I'm done. Spent the whole weekend doing a piece of work, sent that over, clients like, oh, actually, no, I don't want it, and I don't think I'm going to pay you for it. Thank you. Thank you for taking up my weekend for this piece of shit. Oh, good. Well, now I'm no longer sad. Now I'm angry. Fucking everybody. And this, this bloody book that's fallen a fucking part and taking me for fucking ever to read. Ah! Still listening to my audiobook. I just dropped a stack of books on my finger, and it really hurts. It's this finger, this, this little one here, this one. Oh, it looks kind of wonky to me now as well. Is it meant to look like that? I don't know. But that might be a problem if I plan to play guitar later. It does look as though I've bruised behind the fingernail, actually, so that's not good. Somebody is WhatsApping me. Let's see if it's anyone good. It is not. It's my friend Jo. She has sent me an Instagram link saying, you're like this. Oh, it's a, it's from BBC Sport. Um... From the snooker, because I've been watching loads of snooker, I'm really getting into it. So play was moment, mo play was momentarily stopped because uh, it's the final. Looks like somebody has planted a whoopee cushion inside the arena and it keeps going off. Um, okay, so yeah, that's where we're at. I'm just in finger pain. I'm gonna do a bit of filming here. Um, to film. Yes, I know what I have to film. All right. Yo, okay, it is Monday the 20th of January. Uh, I've survived another weekend. Mental health, very much up and down, I would say. Um, it's doing all right at the moment, I guess. I mean, I've just hoovered my living room as well, so my, my living room looks nice. So, um, yeah, cracking on with being productive and all that lovely stuff. Um, so I've finished reading The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. Full review coming out soon. I gave it a 3 out of 5. It was all right, but... Um, uh, I, I don't think I'd ever want to reread it or anything, you know. Um, I still haven't smoked as well, so that is good. That is very good. Six days, 18 hours and 42 minutes. So that's good. Um, yeah, I've gained 1.7 days of life. And I spent 11.3 hours not smoking. I have also been listening to my audiobook of Ham on Rye by Charles Bukowski for the rereadathon. Uh... I think I was actually supposed to read it last year. 
My phone's going mental today. The charge thing on it's going weird. Let me, there we go. So yeah, I'm hoping to finish off Ham and Ride this evening and then, well, I have my main book at the moment, which is The Power by Naomi Alderman, which I'm really quite enjoying so far. I'm about page, 70 pages in of about 340 odd, yeah. Uh, I'm, I might as well read you the verb because it's quite short and sweet. All over the world, women are discovering they have the power. With a flick of the fingers, they can inflict terrible pain, even death. Suddenly, every man on the planet finds they've lost control. The day of the girls has arrived, but where will it end? And, uh, yeah, it's kind of Stephen Kingy in some ways. It also reminds me of uh, World War Z in terms of the way that it's written. Um, it's kind of like reports and things like that, I guess, where it follows different characters and sh shows different elements of this, this outbreak of whatever. Uh, except World War Z I didn't find particularly gripping, whereas this is a little bit more gripping. So yeah, I am enjoying it so far. Yesterday, uh, well again, I haven't had the greatest mental health weekend, so yesterday I was going to go to the acoustic jam at the Rose and Crown. I did actually go, I went there and I had my guitar and stuff, but I just wasn't feeling right, so I just had a pint and then came home. But I did at least give my friend Dave the £80 that I owed him uh, for, I bought his bass guitar off him basically. So that's good because that now means I don't owe anybody money. I mean, I don't really have any money either, but at least I don't owe anybody any money. Um, so now, hopefully I wanna keep doing a bit of overtime and doing a bit more work and squirreling some more money away. Um, but more so so that I know I can have you know, a week off of holiday if I want to, um, without it screwing things up too much. And, um, you know, maybe to think about moving out of this place at some point too. So yeah. But yeah, that seems like a good place to leave this. So as always, thanks a lot for watching another weekly reading vlog. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.